Hi there, we're back again with something a little bit different. Well, like years and years ago, and I suppose I've never stopped being here, like in 1976, my mum had me hair shaved, like, because of the, in where we were in Kent, um, you had a lot of problems with wasps settling in kids' hairs and, like, laying eggs in the scalps of children. So everybody had their head shaved in 1976 if they were a male, right? And girls had to wear hats and stuff. And that was the year of the, the when the roads melted and like lampposts literally fell out of the tarmac and fell across the roads and stuff and tires burnt out. And it was a very very hot summer, and it was it was great. Um, but I quite liked having my head shaved. So for that point onwards, like until this day. Like, you think, 1976, 2019, I've had my head pretty much shaved. And so, you know, I've kind of been the old scar man. I love black rock steady music. I love, um, you know, two-tone specials, madness, um, you know, Prince Buster, Desmond Decker. I actually sat next door to Desmond Decker at Bromley Magistrates Court when he was up in road traffic act like I was. Oh, you know, and it was like, oh my God, he's a god. I'm sat next to a god. Oh, you know, and we had a right good laugh, like, you know. Um, so, you know, and I've always been, you know, like involved in like the old black music and stuff. You know, I I, I don't mind it. So, I mean, I don't, I can't stand that rap and that bloody driller and all that. I think it's stupid, like, you know. Oh, you know, and people pay good money for that sort of stuff like you know, give me my two tone scar and northern soul any day anyway I digress what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the Chinese they do something really really clever look at that 14 whole ox bloods okay I don't care for the the slight um, whitening out the front and I will deal with that I right, you know yellow stitching look how thick that leather is that is really solid and unlike Dr Martin's it's really soft you know these are called marks if you look here <laughs> marker and they've got the now what they've done is they've moved the stitching round, like you know, so it says what N I I H stands for, like unless that's choice for with, like souls bouncing. Um, and if you look here, look. Now the only difference is is that the stuff that they use this for, right, is slightly more clearer than the real Doctor Martins. You know, these are really, really comfortable. There's no breaking in period because the boot leather is so soft. Uh, and uh, there's the inclusion of the loop there. Um, it's, it's very, very nice boot leather. Now, the trick of these is, is that and they're a bit dusty as well, so I haven't polished them yet. Um, the trick is with this, is that the company who made these, right, probably made the real Dr. Martins and then when, when Dr. Martins had got their quota and they said, I'll thank very much, see you next year sort of thing, they said, oh, right, well, we we just, like, chuck our own leather in, our own, like, material, plastic into the soles or rubber into the soles and stuff and they make themselves half a million more and they sell these for a third of a price of a 14-hole pair of, of Dr. Martins, just the standard pair. Uh, you know, if you want to still toke out ones, you're paying even more. I think my daughter's my daughter paid for something like thirty five pounds for these delivered. I mean, you cannot like you know thirty five pound delivered for a pair of, of boots, you know, and they look like they're still toe cats, but they're not. They're just really nicely reinforced. There is a reinforcement layer inside there. I, uh, you know, you can see, like, you know, there are subtle differences, but it's very well stitched, it's very solid, it's a good lace, uh, you know, I mean, as boots go, and I am a bit of a, a thing with boots, I mean, I do love my boots, they ain't bad, you know, I mean, I've walked quite, quite a bit in these, and they actually, you know, you don't feel... Like, you know, they're at, like, when I, when I 
I was one of the first people in Britain to have a pair of the original 1980s Dr. Martin 14 hole steel toe caps. I mean, I stayed up all night around Tottenham Court Road, like, you know, at had a shop, like, you know, with my money in my pocket, like, you know, and I got myself a pair of size sevens, um, well, I see it, black Dr. Martin steel toe caps, which I do believe that my good friend, um, Darren Thompson, Thompson up in uh, Morgan has still got, right? And I I went straight down Carnaby Street with them, like, you know, hey, look at my new boots. Like, oh, wow, like, you know, and then somebody tried to nick them and I had a bit of a fight, like, you know, and I was like, you ain't getting more boots you get, like, you know. <laughs> and they lasted, and they lasted, like, you know. And I ended up giving them to Darren, like, or Daz, like, because, you know, I, I, by that time I'd already got other pairs, like, but look at that, like, you know, for a third of the price, and what you are getting is basically a pair of boots that are made on the same machines as the boots that you pay a fortune for. Uh, you know, is they can't affect you. Well, I mean, they're not branding them Dr. Martins, like, you know, but they are the closest you'll get to a set of Dr. Martins you can imagine. Uh, you know, do give them a try, and you know, I mean, if they last a couple of years, I'll be happy. But I think they will last longer than that because I used to sell shoes in the markets, and I know I know a good stitch from a bad stitch. And I will say that you know these these will last. I mean, um, you know, usually my daughters have to like take shoes off of me before I actually relinquish them. Like my last pair of Lonsdale trainers, like they, uh, my Steph had to take them actually off of me and like you know get rid of them because I just would not stop wearing them. I'd actually bought an identical pair of the same trainers that had sat there for a year whilst I still wore the old ones because they were so comfy. So you know, there you go, fourteen old pair of not none steel, like um. So I've got a stitch in. It's really nice. And it's through, you know. I mean, you know, you'd expect it to be glued or something, you know. And this isn't any old fool's gold light, you know. This is like, I and it hasn't started crinkling too badly uh, around, like, the, the first hinge. And the stitching is very, very nice. The weld is very, very nice. You know, I mean, it's just a shame that the material they use is slightly more opaque, um, transparent than the, what's it, the gum-coloured Dr. Martins. I mean, it's even got the, uh, it's very hard to see, but it's even got the logo, you know, oil, fat, and what do you call it, you know. So they've changed the word to say fashion, like, you know. <laughs> So the original, you can see where they've used the same moulds as Dr. Martin's stuff. And this is what happens when you make stuff in China, you know, because unless you actually smash up the tooling yourself, like, you know, they are going to sit there and they are going to turn out a million of what you've just paid them a lot of money to make because there's no exclusivity. And they will turn around and they will sell these like at a fraction of the price of the real thing because uh, they they have been known to put the companies that went there first out of business and these companies go along and buy them and then use the brand name legitimately uh, you know so perhaps this is what's going to happen to dr martins they've certainly become very very expensive so there you go a very very nice pair of fake dr martin boots bye